All right, folks, that last game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Vikings has really got people talking. The news and rumors just keep rolling in. With such a lackluster performance, the next few days will be crucial in determining the future of our team this season. Do you have any guesses about what's going to happen next? Let's dive into some important points. But before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Join our exclusive community and stay up to date with all the breaking news about the Philadelphia Eagles. Stay informed every day. Now, back to the news. Eagles fans are feeling a mix of tension and anticipation after the disastrous performance in the last preseason game, where the team was defeated by the Vikings 26-3. With the regular season opener against the Packers just around the corner, Philadelphia has less than two weeks to make crucial decisions that could directly impact their performance in the championship. The loss to the Vikings was marked by a lackluster effort from a team filled with players fighting for a spot on the final roster. This game highlighted both the mistakes and the successes of players looking to secure their place, whether in the main squad or at least on the practice team. Offensively, the Eagles faced serious issues with three turnovers, two fumbles, one by running back Ty Davis Price and another by quarterback Tanner McKee, and an interception also by McKee. Additionally, the team failed on all six of their fourth down conversion attempts, an alarming statistic for any team aiming to be competitive. On the defensive side, things were slightly better, with the team recording four sacks, but there were still moments of weakness, especially in critical moments of the game. Players like Nolan Smith, one of the key names on the field, didn't shine as expected, even with the opportunities they had. Among the roster evaluations, some players managed to stand out and possibly secured their place on the team. Tristan McCollum, for example, had a solid day, leading the defense with nine tackles and showing a strong presence on the field. Aeneas Smith also showed improvement, with six receptions for 36 yards, which should be enough to secure his spot. On the other hand, other players weren't as fortunate. Joseph Ngata, who missed two clear reception opportunities, ended up contributing to the Eagles' offensive frustration and may have sealed his exit from the team. Similarly, players like Eli Ricks and Lou Nichols, who had inconsistent performances, should be concerned about their future with the team. Now, the Eagles' coaching staff and management have a big challenge ahead making cuts, and finalizing the roster. The upcoming decisions will be crucial in determining whether the team is ready to compete on equal footing when the season begins. So, Philly fans, what's your take? Do you believe the Eagles have the potential to fix the issues seen in the preseason and start the regular season strong, or are the problems deeper than they seem? Share your thoughts in the comments and join the discussion. And don't miss out. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that like button to become part of our exclusive community. Get the latest and most important Philadelphia Eagles news first. Don't forget to share this video with other diehard Eagles fans. Until next time, folks.